Hi everybody, today we're going to do like a three minute lesson on concentration gradients. Uh, okay, so here we go. Um, when things are together, they tend to run into each other a lot. When things are spread out, they run into each other less. And that's basically the idea of between everything that happens in a concentration gradient. So, if I have a box filled with water, and on the left side I have lots of particles, they're going to slam into each other a lot. And because of that, they're going to end up traveling away from areas of high concentration. Um, an interesting thing happens when you have a lot of particles on one side, and you actually make your barrier very small, so that only water can pass through. These particles are all colliding really, really, uh, you know, at a really high rate, and so they would technically want to travel across to the other side of the box. However, that can't happen. So, in order to reduce the amount of concentration here, to reduce the concentration here, what's going to happen is water is going to flow to this side. Effectively making the space larger so that the concentration is less. As a rule of thumb, all you have to remember is that particles, anything dissolved will go from high to low concentration. And if they can't go from high to low concentration, then water will travel to high concentrations. That's basically it. Thanks.